My last question is like, how do you guys handle uh, driver safety? Now, you know, being that the pandemic is going on right now, it's succeeding, but it's still going on. But we had all them issues earlier this year with riots in certain cities and stuff like that. Are we able to uh, are we able to carry our own personal protection on the truck? And if not, if not, what do you guys do to protect us in situations um, like that? Sir, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to cut it off with that question. Um, you know, uh, I just uh, we don't condone that, of course. Um, but I'm I'm definitely gonna have to cut the conversation off of that question, okay? All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. What's up, guys? Lockout Men here, back again with another podcast video for you guys to enjoy. I am your humble host, Lockout Man, and this is the Lockout Man Podcast Show. In today's episode, we're going to be making the call, the MTC edition of the Lockout Man Podcast Show. And this show right here is where I make the call for you guys on a daily, on, well, on a weekly basis. You know what I'm saying? I set it up. I get the information for you guys. You guys take that information how you see fit. See if the company is right for you based on based on the conversation that I have with uh, with with the recruiter. If something in there that the recruiter says that, you know, that touches you and you, you know, you feel like that's uh, a good company for you. Give it a give it a call. Give it a call. Um, I do want to go over uh, go over a, a previous uh, comment that was uh, said in my uh, in my in my previous make the call. Now I'm not sure if the gentleman works for the company or anything like that, but obviously he felt some kind of way about the uh, about the call. Let me let me just put it like this: I'm not biased towards any company. All right, I just feel I I, I just feel that it is my opinion on how I felt, how the way the call went. And again, when I made the call to uh, to the previous company, VL Trucking, I just felt that the recruiter, I, I just felt that the information that the recruiter gave me was, you know, was, wasn't, well, of course it wasn't to my liking. So of course, if, if I was a driver that was looking for uh, looking for a company of that magnitude, I would probably continue to do my research. I mean, the information that I did get was a head scratcher. You know what I'm saying? Um, maybe, maybe uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. What works for me may not work for other people and what works for other people may not work for me. So, Again, you know, that's why I open up. That's why I do these calls for you guys. So you guys can make your own assessment on whether the company will work for you. Give that person a call. Maybe maybe when you call them, the the information that you get from them probably might be different from what you get from me. That's why I just I open up the door and it's up to you to go through it. All right. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the comment. I appreciate all the support. And I, and I, you know, if you want to debate me about it or anything like that, for sure, come on and talk about said company. You know, if, if VL Trucking works for you, that's why it's always good to get other, get other opinions on said company. So the recruiter gave me what was offered. I gave my opinion on it. Now, if you would like to come on and give your opinion or your assessment on how the company is treating you, definitely come on and share that. I'm more than open to it. All right. All right. So let's get on with the show. If you like comment, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and hit that bell and that all button. That all button lets you know when I drop videos and that all button lets you know when I go live. I usually go live daily around eight o'clock ish. I usually have special guests. I have topics. I have a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. So be here eight o'clock daily. 
Um, let's uh, get into this call. So lockout men, who are we calling today or called today? Mabes Trucking. Yes, sir. Mabes Trucking out of out of Eden, North Carolina. I got this request. Uh, you know, I got a call from uh, from from a uh, from a good friend of mine. He uh, called me up and he told me he said, "Hey, lockout men, you know, my cousin just now get into getting into the trucking industry, but because of his background, it was all messed up. He got turned down from." every trucking company imaginable and he even got turned down from swift now you know what i a lot of people say swift is like easy to get into now but i don't know up, up under cer certain circumstances i think that swift is tightening their belts on how they do their recruiting now i mean back then back then Sorry about that. Back then, Swift probably might have been one of the easy companies to get into. But, you know, Swift is really trying to clean up their image for real, for real. So Swift probably might not be that easy company to get into. But there are second chance companies out here like uh, Western Express uh, and several others. Come to find out, Mabe. Mabe Transportation out or Mabe's Trucking out of Eden, North Carolina, is one of those companies that gave his cousin an opportunity to come out here and drive for them. So let's uh, go to the bit board and check out Mabe's Trucking. So, of course, here's their website, www.mabestrucking.com. Clean website. I, I kind of like it. Got the little got the little sliding Got the little slideshow going on. But as far as anything else on here, uh, like, you know, information for the truck driver, because, you know, in the conversation I had, the young lady did say, well, I want to give you uh, the website that you can go to and you can find out more about that. But only thing I was able to find out was that this uh, young man, Butch D. Mabes, Roger Butch D. Mabes, uh, he started he started his trucking company in 1988 uh, along with his uh, grandfather and uncle. They was both truck drivers. His grandfather allowed him to take some trips with him, which which got him interested in the trucking industry. Um, over the years, the customer base has grown substantially and is free grown from 200 tractors to tractors and grown, has grown to 200 tractors and 600 trailers. The company has grown to be one of the largest employees in Eden, North Carolina, with over 300 employees. One of the most prestigious achievement of Mabe's Trucking Company was being awarded the Carrier of the Year for three years in a row from Dollar General. So there you have it. They got Dollar General Freight. <laughs> and if they got Dollar General Freight, ah, that's some good stuff. If they got Dollar General Freight, then you already know that this is a touch, touch freight account. But from what I got, the information from what I got in the call, they are a 48, uh, 48 state uh, carrier. Uh, they start. They, they start their drivers at $0.44 cent a mile. Even if you're at five years or more, they start their young drivers, the new drivers that's out of school or that has less than, has less experience than myself, they start them at $0.38 cent a mile. The company don't have a sign-on bonus. They don't, they don't have a sign, they don't have a sign-on bonus. And uh, let me see what else they don't they don't have sign on bonus, but they do. They do have everything else. They do have the basis of everything else that you can find out in this call. Word of warning. Call was going good all the way up until the end. <laughs> all right. So just let me get you guys ready for that, especially when I asked her about uh, personal protection on the truck so she pretty much 
uh, made the call short, and it pretty much went downhill from there. But all overall, she did give some good information about the company per se, but I, I just kind of felt that, you know, being that I was quote-unquote window shopping, she didn't pretty much care to give information. So I don't want to say that she's one of those recruiters that – you know get a type of bonus or anything like that because you know when recruiters you know if if you get those recruiters that just want to recruit you just to get into the seat so they can pocket their you know fatten their pockets then you might want to look a little deeper into the company but as always definitely if you come across a Mabe driver or anything like that definitely pull him over and ask him what's his assessment of the company you know what I'm saying? You can't just you you can't just go off of what the recruiters say because sometimes you know the recruiters kind of kind of patent you know they kind of patent the information. You know what I'm saying? Their jobs is just to get you into their seats. It's your job to figure out if that seat is good enough for you. So without further ado, let's get into the call. Mabes Trucking out of Eden, North Carolina. Let's do it. Okay. Well, you want to ask me, or you want me to just give you the whole spiel? Uh, well, well, let's. Uh, what about the background? How long? How long Mabe been in been in existence? Um, we've been in business over thirty years. Mm -hmm. Um, we're located in Eden, North Carolina. Okay. Um, it's our only location. So you guys is like a, a regional company or over the road company or do you offer both? What what kind of lanes that you guys offer? So um, we do only over the road. We don't really have regional. Um, now, for example, we really try to work with you. Um, mm -hmm. So if you prefer to run like the Northeast, we'll you know do everything we can to keep you running the Northeast. Now. Our motto is if we give you, you know, 10 runs that you like to do, you know, you do 10 trips. If we need you to go somewhere else for us one time, then, you know, we can, we try to work that out because we're always trying to accommodate our drivers and keep you running where you want to run. But occasionally, you know, at the end of the day, we have to service our customers. Right. So if we need you to go somewhere else. So you guys. That's kind of the way we do it. So, so, so you guys. Uh, are uh, a force dispatch company or or no yeah yes and no it's kind of a d complicated um question to answer uh like i said we really try to you know take you where you want to go give you the loads that you want to go on but occasionally you're going to have to you know go where we need you to go it is all about servicing our customers Okay. We have 48 state authority. Um, most of our runs are east of the Mississippi. Mm -hmm. We don't go out west very often. Um, I mean, we have occasional Oregon runs, Nevada runs, Arizona runs, but um, it's mostly east of the Mississippi. So if I if if I if I'm an over the road driver with you guys and I want to do you know want to take my home time in a certain state, would I I won't have no problem doing that? As long as you're not too far out of route, um, you know it, it depends. And I, if you tell me where you live, I can give you a better answer. Well, I'm I'm from Ohio, but you know I like to I like to take my home time other than Ohio. Like I like to take it in Nevada. I like to take it in Minnesota, uh, Texas, Florida. You know, states like that that I like to take my my home time in. Right, I understand that. Well, um, yeah, as long as it's not out of route, um then it, it shouldn't be a problem. And as long as you have a safe place to park your truck, you know, it's not parked at just like in a Walmart parking lot or anything like that, mm -hmm. um, then it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, okay. What about, uh? so coming to orientation, so of course, uh, I, I guess I got to go through the application process and 
all that good stuff. But once I get approved and come into orientation, how would you get me up there and what might I need to bring? Okay. Um, so the way orientation is, if you're living in Ohio, um, we do one of two things. We could try to get one of our drivers to pick you up and bring you here. Okay. Um, as long as you could meet them at like a, a truck stop or something like that. Or um, we do bus ticket reimbursement. So if you purchase your own bus ticket um, and brought the check or receipt, we will write you a check for um, you know the price of the bus ticket. We don't buy them up front just because a lot of times people don't end up showing up. Okay, okay. So we what, lose our money so, on that, but we would reimburse you. So what about uh, what about uh, like a rental car or something like that or a plane? Um, we don't really do that. Um, it's mostly just bus. Um, I can certainly speak with someone and maybe they could work something out, but I know we haven't really um, reimbursed for those things in the past. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what what might I need to bring? Like, what credentials? We um, tell everyone to bring, you know, two weeks worth of clothes. You know, bring all your clothes, anything you need for the truck, your linens, um, you know, all of that good stuff. Okay. Um, if you, of course, would like a TV in your truck, a TV, we have a place that it could be mounted. Um, you know, just your normal stuff that you would bring. Okay. Well, I, I was kind of leaning towards uh, credentials. Like, uh, do I need to bring my medical card? Do I need to bring my, of course, okay. my right. social security card? <laughs> stuff like that. Yep. You would have to bring two forms of ID, mm -hmm. um, you know, your CDL. And either a social birth certificate, things like that, okay. um, your medical card, um, and any beneficiary information. So if my, um, for when you're signing up for your benefit. So if my medical card is still valid, I could still I could still use it, right? Yes, we don't like to get a new one. Nope. Oh, okay, 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 okay. What about pre-employment screening uh, for drug testing? Do I do I do all that? in my home state or do I do all that when I come to orientation? Um, if you, we can do both, you know, we can set it up to where you're located. Um, or you can do it when you get here. Um, either one. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what about starting pay, uh, five year driver, uh, versus uh, a new driver speaking. Well, let me re let me rewind that a little bit. So, do you guys accept new drivers out of uh out of trucking school, or you have to have a couple of years yes. up under your belt? Yes. We do um a training program, yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So, as far as a five year driver as myself, how much would I be coming in as? Um. So. I, we would the way our pay is set up. Um, we start everyone at a base pay. Um, with five years of experience, we say let's say we start you at forty four cents. Um, we have several bonus opportunities. Um, that increases that. For example, if you get two thousand seven hundred and fifty miles in one week, so from Sunday to Saturday at midnight. Um, no safety violations, then you get three cents added to your pay for the week. Um, so this is a bonus that's set up that you can get every single week. Um, and the way, the reason behind that is, you know, if you mess up, it's no big deal. You can try again next week, you know, it's to make you better. Okay. So 44 cent a mile, uh, without incentives with the incentives it's an extra three cents so that bumps it up to like 47 cent a mile yes sir mm -hmm. okay okay 40 44 cent a and mile. then and that's then and, and that's at a and that's and that's at a five-year driver what's what's the what's the starting what's the starting cpm for a driver that's starting out 
or someone with less years than me? Um, so, you know, for our trainees, they get paid on a weekly basis during their training program. And then when they get out, they start at 38. Okay. 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 Um, is there a sign on bonus with you guys? No. And again, our biggest reason for no sign on bonuses is because they're really hard to achieve. Um, if you've ever been to a company with a sign on bonus, Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're very hard to achieve. You have to do so many things to get a portion of the bonus at this point, then a portion at this point, then a portion at this point. And then of course. even if you do achieve it, it it runs out. You know, it's a one-time right. sign-on deal. Right. Whereas our bonuses are set up for all of our drivers. Um, they never go away. Okay, okay. Um, are you guys a 1099 or or uh, W uh, W2? W two. Okay, so uh, we get paid. What, do we get paid for holidays, breakdowns, detention, and layovers? Um. Yes, we do. We have six paid holidays. Mm-hmm. Um. And those are like the major holidays: um, New Year's Day, um, Memorial Day, July Fourth, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And they're eighty dollars. Um. We do offer layover pay as well. That is also eighty dollars. Okay. You, um, you we get, get we offer two weeks vacation after mm-hmm. the first year. Mm-hmm. You guys, you guys, dry bots or reefer or both? Um, it is just dry van. Oh, okay. Okay. So w- I guess my other question would be, you know, you told me that I will start off at, uh, 44 cent a mile. Would you, what would, what would probably be, wh- what would I gross or can you answer that gross a year? What would probably be like a ballpark for an annual gross for me working, working with you? Um, I am not sure because I did not do the payroll. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Because, uh, you know, when I ask that question, it's, it's, it's a broad question anyway. You know, uh, a lot of, a lot of recruiters that I have talking, that I have talked to really can't answer, uh, that question, but I was figuring, you know, at 44 cent a mile, you know, with the bump up 47 cent, I'm just trying to figure out. How much would I not, you know, as as not a general question, but how much I would get, which is segueing into my next question. So uh, what's the what's the miles that your that your drivers are averaging there? We want all of our drivers um, to get at least twenty five hundred miles a week and, you know, to get the bonus, it is two thousand seven hundred and fifty. Okay. 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 So close to close to three thousand miles. That's you know that's you figure with forty four with forty four cent three thousand miles. You probably touching about a little bit a thousand maybe eleven hundred at the most. So times that with four four times four times twelve that pretty much give me my my annual because I'm not calculating the the bump up because anything liable to happen. Um, I did mention about home time. Uh, so on my home time, would that be a full two days that I get off or just my 34 hour reset? We allow, um, 34 to 40 hours for a reset, um, during that home time. And we want you to stay out, um, about two weeks. Okay. Okay. And you did mention the fact that we can't take the truck home. Mm-hmm. As long as it's in a safe place. All right, all right, all right. We that well, I definitely got a, I definitely got a safe place. It's it's around the corner from my house, and then the other places where I go to too. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have too much of a problem finding a safe place to to park the truck. Um. So what 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 equipment you currently have in the fleet? And let me let me paraphrase that. If I decide to come on. Or if I decide to come on or get approved to come on and go through all of the process and everything, what truck would you guys put me in? 
Um, we have our fleet consists of Kenworth, Peterbilt, Internationals. Um, our latest model is a 2018, so we have a pretty new fleet. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can't imagine you would go in a 2018. I can't tell you which um, type of truck it would be, um, which make or model, but it would be a 20, usually around a 2018. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, is you guys an automatic fleet, manual fleet, or both? And we have both. Okay, so we can we I can drive both of them, but if I have a preference for one, it shouldn't be too much of a problem getting me in it. No, um, we try to put everyone you know in their preference. Um, I can't guarantee that you would get in your preference right away, but we will do what we can. You know, to accommodate you. Okay, okay. Uh, amenities inside the trucks. Uh, bare bones or uh, do we get the APUs? Do we get refrigerators? What do we get? Um, a lot of our trucks have, most of them have APUs. I think there's a couple um, that do not. Um, but, the, you know, I'm not even sure. I think those are the ones that don't have the refrigerators. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other ones do. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. What about a driver camera? All of our trucks come with cameras that face the driver and face out. Okay, okay. Um, what about the what about the computer uh, uh, that you guys use for e logs? We have Omni Track. Omni Qualcomm. Omni Track, and it is e. Uh huh. Okay, okay, okay. So that's how we that's how we'll get our our assignment through the Qualcomm as well. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. Um what about what about other uh what about other things like do you guys give uh some give us something extra for for our phone service because you know we have to call and use our use our personal phone to call in and you know, talk to the fleet manager nope. or yada, 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 something like that. Do you guys give us an extra? Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, um, just because everything that can be said um, on the phone can be said on your message to your fleet manager. Oh, okay. Okay. So everything we can, we can pretty much talk through the Qualcomm if, if we don't have, if we don't want to use our phone for business, I mean, for, you know, for business purposes, in other words. Yep, and so um, I want to share with you um, our website. It's madetrucking.com. Um, you can click the blue button that says click here to apply now if you're interested in putting in an application. I'm on your website. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. Good. And you said your name yeah, was John. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm on your website. <laughs> I only uh well, thank you, you know, thank you for your time, but I I only have like maybe like two more questions if I may. Okay. All right, the 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 second to the last question is uh dealing with felons. Like, you know, I'm I'm not a felon, but you know, I'm I'm you know, I talk to a lot of guys that has felonies on their backgrounds. Do you guys give do you guys give them a chance? As far as uh, as far as bringing them on, because the we one handle j- each person individually. Okay, okay, okay. Just everyone is case by case. All right, and my last question is like, how do you guys handle uh, driver safety? Now you know, being that the pandemic is going on right now, it's succeeding, but it's still going on. But we had all them issues earlier this year with riots in certain cities and stuff like that. Are we able to uh, are we able to carry our own personal protection on the truck? And if not, if not, what do you guys do to protect us in situations um, like that? Sir, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut it off with that question. Um, you know, uh, I just uh, we don't condone that, so of course. Um, but I'm I'm definitely gonna have to cut the conversation off with that question. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. Well, thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. I so appreciate much. it. And if you're interested, put in an application. Thank Will you. Will do. All right now. Made truck. 
Mabe Trucking, everybody. Wow, that was, uh, hmm. I don't know what to say about, I don't know what to say about that. I, I feel some kind of way about, uh, about that call right there, man. What, what do you guys think about that call? I, I feel some kind of way, especially towards, uh, towards the end, you know, it was kind of like, you know, trying to, you know, hurry up and rush me off type deal. You know what I'm saying? And when I asked about, you know, personal protection, I mean, what do what do companies do for drivers that you know th that protects them you know what i'm saying i mean that's that's a fair question to ask right i mean some companies you know some some drivers you know do the don't ask don't tell type deal you know what i'm saying to protect themselves uh while driving uh freight for these guys you know what i'm saying but uh but yeah, what do you what do you guys think, man? I mean, this this I mean, towards the end, you know, towards the end, it's it, it kind of like it kind of like went south. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everything else was good. I mean, what do you guys think as far as the 44 cent though? You know, for for an experienced driver that got five years. Now, if you're a new driver coming in, you get about 38 cent. You know what I'm saying? But you get paid weekly because you got a train. But 38 cent for the new drivers that's like fresh out of school. And then for your uh for your experienced drivers, 44 cent. No sign-on bonus and no uh yeah, no sign-on bonus. Uh you do get a bump up of three cent, but you know, but as I talk to, you know, you know, to, to my, to the guy that wanted me to, uh, you know, call them and, uh, talk to him, shout out to, uh, Lawrence, you know what I'm saying? He, uh, he called me up and he was like, yo, locked out. Uh, my cousin had a hard time getting in with some trucking companies because of his background, but Mabe gave him a chance. So with that, with that, you know, that's that's good, especially if you have like some skirmishes on your background. So if a truck trucking company gives you an opportunity, take it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying take it no matter no matter who it is, if it's Mabe, if it's Western Express, you know, if they give you a chance because of your background, take it. I'm just saying. Uh, but as far as the call goes, I mean, it, it, I, I, I just, I personally just feel some kind of way, you know, like, you know, she was kind of like trying to rush me off or something like that. But, you know, when I asked her, like I said, when I asked her about the, uh, asked her about the, uh, about the personal protection and to see what type of, you know, see what type of see what the company can offer to help drivers out in situations that you know that they may get into she didn't want to answer it and she pretty much cut the call short so with that uh with that mabe's trucking if you guys are interested in mabe's trucking you can give them a call at three three six six three five one seven nine three Mabe's Trucking is located out of Eden, North Carolina, and they are a over-the-road company. So, again, let me know what you guys think of this call. If you like content like this and more, you know what? I'm about to send it over. Let's hold on. So that's it for my part of it. I am about to send it over to the live shine so that he can uh pretty much finish us out with that said you guys take it easy and i'll come back later or come back again with another mtc take it over shine mabes trucking everybody so of course during the call as I said, it pretty much went south uh, after I asked the question about, 
personal protection on the trucks. Now, unfortunately, there's a lot of companies and there are a lot of companies. If you're not an owner operator or own your own truck, then you're pretty much suggest, uh, suggested to company policies. And majority of these companies don't allow you to have a weapon on their trucks. Uh, some of, you know, some of the drivers do the don't ask, don't tell situation. You know what I'm saying? But as I, as I chopped it up with wild beard trucking, don't leave your, don't leave your protection in plain sight. Don't leave it up on the dashboard. Don't leave it on the bed. Don't leave it in the seat. Don't leave it where it's, it's, it's visible. L leave it where it's, it's accessible but don't leave it where it's visible. You know what I'm saying? Not too many people need to know what's on your truck, except for that person that's coming on your truck to do you some harm. Then, yeah, he needs to know. But as drivers in this dangerous occupation that we call trucking, you know, there's a lot of situations that that truck drivers do get into, you know, like, you know, the driver that was pulled out of his truck and beaten half to death. Uh, the driver that was in that riot situation, you know what I'm saying? The driver that was that was parked over there. I forget where he was at, but unfortunately he was killed over there. Now, maybe not not to say that if you had your weapon, things probably might have been different, but. But having a weapon gives you a better chance. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, with companies not allowing drivers to, you know, to carry their weapons on the truck. And you also got to realize that uh, carry laws varies from state to state. Now, I have I have my CCW uh, that pretty much. Uh, that I pretty much could carry throughout the throughout the state of Ohio. Sometimes it extends a little bit further than that. But I could tell you a story. I was in Baltimore. I was in Baltimore, Maryland, and I got pulled over. And the officer, you know, of course, ran my tag, and he knew that I was, you know, he knew that I had a gun on me. So, excuse me, he came over, asked me, did I have a weapon in the car? I said, yes. He asked me where it was at. I said, it's in the uh, – it's in the center console. So I asked him if he wanted me to get it. And he said, well, no, no, he wanted me to step out the car and he'll get it himself. So he got it out, uh, took, you know, took it out, you know, disassembled it and all like that. And that's when he was telling me that in the state of Maryland, you know, they they don't recognize uh, CCW holders. So in order for me to continue to drive with my weapon, I will have to disassemble it and have one part in the glove compartment and the other part had to be in the in the in the I guess in the trunk or something like that the pieces parts has to be separated so I'm not sure how that's going to work out for truck drivers though you know what I'm saying but then again as I said before you know don't ask don't tell situation don't come on Facebook, don't come on social media and start showing off your weapon inside of the truck because people watch you, especially your company, especially if you give your company access to your Facebook page and somebody in the home office just happens to see that you're you taking a picture with your weapon and all like that. Yeah, yeah, that part, that part. So with that said, I you know, being protected out here is 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 rule one. You know, your safety is rule one. You know, safety for the truck, safety for your person, safety for the contents that's in the trailer. Now, a lot of them would say, yo, it's not worth it. You know, somebody somebody pull you over and try to hold you up. Shh, give them the keys here, bro. It's automatic. Yo, and just call the police and say such and such, such and such companies. There's somebody stole my truck and I got robbed at gunpoint. Yada 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 yada. You know what I'm saying? What they saying is is that this is not worth it. But of course, 
were uh, were criminals, criminal minds. You know what I'm saying? They um they you know if you see, if they see you or something like that, you know they'll turn around and try to get rid of you so that you 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 can't point the finger at them. I'm just saying. But having a weapon will definitely even the odds, I guess. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you know, it's just unfortunate that majority of these companies don't allow you to have that. And that is one question that you can ask. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all the turmoil that's been going on this year. Why not ask that question? What do you do to protect drivers in precarious situations? So if if the recruiter feels some kind of way in answering that, then I don't know what to say. Again, like I said, I'm just here just to open the door for you guys. You know what I'm saying? You have to walk through it. So take everything with a gain of, with a grain of salt. Is is that's what it is? Grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt, and uh, and see whatever company that you research is good for you. Mabes uh Mabes Trucking out of Eden. North Carolina, their phone number is 336-635-1793. If you're interested in Mabes, give them a call. They also have, uh, for a felon, it's on a case-by-case basis as all as with all other trucking companies that, uh, that hire felons. So it's on a case-by-case basis. I'm just saying. All right. With that said, this is lockout men and thank you for thank you for watching i appreciate it and this is the lockout men podcast show the mtc edition if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button that all button lets you know when i drop videos and that all button lets you know when i go live i go live daily daily around eight o'clock ish I have guests, I have topics, I have more. Yo, come on and join the conversation. If you want to join the community, the LOM community, there is three tiers. There's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Definitely get me something to eat, man. Hook your brother up if you want to get me some coffee because these calls are not sponsored. I'm just saying. They're not sponsored. And it takes a lot to vet these companies for you. I'm just saying. But I get the information for you anyway. That's what I do. That's what I do, man. I'm just saying, you know. All right. So if you want to hook a brother up with some coffee or something like that, get at me at the cash app, dollar sign, lockout men, or the coffee app, which is in the description below. Hook a brother up, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys for the support. Definitely check out the other channel, the Bullish channel. That's where you see all of the garbage, all of the internet video, all of the inter- crazy ass internet videos. So definitely go over there and subscribe if you like inter- uh, if you like videos from Facebook, from uh, Twitter, from Instagram. Definitely go over there and subscribe to that channel as well. The Bull Ish channel. And last but not least, shout out to Trucker's Path. Trucker's Path is the only app that you're going to need if you're a truck driver. It shows you where the closest truck stops at. It lets you know if the parking lot is full or not. You can down, you can uh you can uh use it as a navigational tool now and you can also use it as a load board because they have a load board on there truckers path definitely uh definitely give them a call i mean definitely giving them a try make sure you go to the google play store or your apple store i guess apple got it hmm go there and download it today truckers path with that said everybody i am your host again lockout man and thank you for watching the lockout man podcast show i will come again with another video you guys stay blessed and i will talk to you guys later peace searching 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 and searching searching searching